Welcome back friends to this PowerShell tutorial series. I am Indranil and today we will be discussing uh, about the variables in PowerShell and how we can use them. So let's start with what are variables. So as the name suggests, variable is something which varies, right? And uh, they are used as a placeholder to store some information. It can be anything like a string value, a number, a name, anything you want. Okay. So variables give gives a uh, variables give us the flexibility to actually manipulate data and uh, we can refer to that variable anywhere we want in our script okay you, you don't have to type the same thing let's say you store a name john in a variable x so you, you can simply refer x wherever you want to put in the value of john all right you don't have to type in john again and again and again in your uh, script so this saves uh, us a lot of time and uh, is, is the uh, recommended way of programming. Okay, so let's see how we can use variables in PowerShell. And uh, the general syntax of declaring a variable. So first of all, we have to declare a variable. Simply, uh, we, you can you can choose any name uh, that you want for a variable, but make sure you don't use uh, uh, a phrase or name which is uh, conflicting with, with some of the inbuilt uh, commands or predefined variables in PowerShell. For example, like we discussed in, in our first video uh, where we checked our PowerShell version using the dollar $host command. So dollar $host is an inbuilt variable you cannot assign it to something else if you do if you try to do that it will give you an error let me show you that see you cannot overwrite a variable host because it's a read only or constant okay so to, to define a variable or declare a variable you have to put a dollar symbol like that and put anything then the, then the name you can you can name it anything like test okay and then comes the value and this is not the equal sign I mean the symbol is of course uh, resembles the equal sign but it is uh, the assign operator in, in the programming language so if you are if you have any previous programming knowledge of C or C++ or, or any of the other object oriented programs you very well know that this is the assignment operator and you, you assign the value which is present on the right hand side to the left hand uh, variable so let's say we we want to give it a integer value of 30 so we'll simply put dollar test equals to 30 and you do not to put any semicolon in the end okay you can simply hit enter and this gets stored in the test variable and Okay, one more thing. So this the, the lifetime of this variable is only till the session is open. So if you close this particular uh, PowerShell window and open a new one, this test variable will be gone out of the memory. But right now, since we are, we are still in the same session, I can refer to this test variable and hit enter. So this will give me its current value. I can replace its value with a string. So strings are always present um, I mean represented within the double quotes okay or you can use single quotes as well if you want but I prefer double quotes so let's say my name is John or let's say my name is ABC and if I now if I resemble test I mean call out test it will give me the output one more thing that you cannot use spaces in the variable name so for example if i you if i try to use dollar test 1 equals to 4, 12 let's say it'll give me an error here okay you can always use underscores to this to 
declare your variables it will work but in case if you want to put a put a space in between so there is a way but which is not recommended though but I can show you if you put a dollar sign put a square bracket there and then you can uh, I'm sorry uh, I guess it's a curly bracket I guess yeah it's, it's a curly bracket so dollar test one there you go but this is this is not a, not a recommended way of declaring a variable so make sure you don't do not uh, put spaces in between the name you can always use a dash symbol if you want or a underscore whichever you prefer so this is uh, how you declare a variable so let's say I have a variable say a which has a value of 1 and a variable of B which has a value of 2 I can use all the operators like multiply division division all those things it will give me the correct output just give me a second sorry for that okay so let's continue you can use the divide operator as well It'll give you 0.5 okay so these are the basic operations that we normally do and uh, it follows the bot bus rule as well we can you can use brackets and all those things so let's say uh, if you, if you, if i want to assign uh, the result of a plus b to another variable that is c i can do that as well so dollar c will be 3 now and i can assign variable into a variable i can do that do like that as well okay pretty pretty uh, useful sometimes so also if you want let's say if you want dollar e to be of only string type because right now we are not declaring the type of the variable whether it's an end or a string and it, it is accepting whatever value is present on the right hand side but but let's say sometimes we we strong we want to strongly type the uh, type of the variable so you can do that using a bracket I mean uh, a square bracket then the type you want to assign to this particular variable and then you can put hello okay so right now if I try to go and assign a value of 1 it works right so what, what this does is basically uh, you're, you're telling the compiler that dollar e is a string type variable ideally it should not accept any any other values apart from strings I don't know why, why it worked here never mind but this is how you strongly type a, a variable here okay after this let me let me, let me let me just quickly recall what else can I show you here uh, okay so we were we were using the get service command right like this so I can store the whole output of this command into a variable like this and then I can refer the dollar a anywhere I want and it will have the same information with for me okay this comes very handy whenever you're, you're uh, developing a script or you have to reference the same uh, function or command let in different places you can simply store the entire output in a variable and refer to that variable wherever you want okay all right so this is all about variables and we'll be the seeing the use of variables in our uh, later sessions and from now onwards I will be using the uh, PowerShell ISE that stands for integrated scripting environment because this PowerShell window is uh, for, for the beginners I mean for the absolute beginners and it doesn't give us that much flexibility or rather code hinting or you can say uh, IntelliSense kind of thing 
which will be there in the IEC. I'll be showing that to you. Okay. So see you guys in the next video and we'll be start using the IEC there. Thank you and have a good day. Bye bye.